Well, Happy New Year, everyone. I hope everyone had a great holiday and a blessed Christmas and enjoyed the family. So welcome to the Health and Happiness Show. As many of you know, I, Janet Hawkins, will be your host this evening. So here we are in a new year. So that's what we're going to be talking about for our plans for 2023. But before we go there, I want to give you, give you a little bit of a background about myself. It's like a client had stopped in yesterday and she said, I found you on Maslin Cable, Channel 21. And she said it was a godsend. So I really appreciate that, Lois. And uh, so I'd like to explain to you uh, what I'm all about. I'm a graduate from Kent State. I'm an herbalist. I'm a naturopath, uh, traditional naturopath, board certified. And uh, I do consultations for clients. I am really into getting to the root cause of what is causing a lot of your health issues. Everyone is different. One person may be having a lot of pain. Another person may be having migraines. Maybe someone is constipated as a simple fix like that. So we try to get to the root cause. So, and then, um, of course, we all need to keep our immune system strong as well, but we're going to go into a lot of details about that as well. So uh, I see clients two to three days a week, one Saturday a month normally. It's by appointment, of course, as well. And I'm not a big office. I have an office in my home. That is what I prefer. And so it just gives you a little bit of information about myself. And I grew up in Holmes County and uh, we had a cow. I milked a cow when I was growing up. I had a horse. We had chickens. We had a garden. So this was my background. So this was a natural flow for me to get into the holistic health. So um, <clears throat> I would like to uh, share with you what I do do is I also do a newsletter every month. And I like to give you educational information. And like this month, we're talking about the benefits of vitamin C as well and PMS. The uh, basic information on the outside is by Stephen Horn, an herbalist out of Utah, which I've studied with him many times. So I send one of these out once a month as well. So um, <clears throat> what we do, like I said, is we try to get to the root cause. And how I started out, I was very blessed back in the 90s. I had read about Dr. Jensen out in California, and he was the father of iridology. And I decided to go up to Canada, and I studied with him for a week. And it was interesting at the time, I met a... Uh, I doctor from Holmes County from Millersburg and he was there taking the class as well and Dr. Jensen is the father of iridology <clears throat> and back then he was getting up there in years so I knew if I wanted to study with him I had to make the move and that was one of the best decisions I have done so that's how I started out is doing iridology that's where I go in and look at the colored part of your eye called the iris and that is a map to your body and that goes in and tells us what's going on and I remember one thing that he had really had emphasized whenever I was studying with him he said the first thing you see is where you go so what I do is actually January 7th I will be at the marketplace doing free iridology as well uh, they have an indoor marketplace and uh, they have uh, vendors that come in and set up and I will be there as well on January 7th and then also on January 29th, a Sunday, I will be at the Holiday Inn out at Belden Village doing a holistic and psychic show. I like to do those shows. It's a marketing technique and I do free iridology and muscle testing as well. So I just wanted to tell you about those two events. You might want to write it down if you're in the area out at Hartville, January 7th and January 29th. And I'll be doing the free iridology. And what I'm getting at is when I do the iridology, whenever I, I do a setting like this public, I am finding 
we are too acidic. And when we're too acidic, that is when disease begins. And we have the chart here. <clears throat> so when we're too acidic, right here we are, that is when disease begins. And what does that come from? That comes from soda pop, coffee, and emotional stress. I am seeing very people that are very acidic, very deficient in minerals, a lot of stress as well, and very, very toxic. So we have to go in and clean up. I always say it's like cleaning up the pond internally. You know how it gets all dark and crusty come springtime? So we have to go in and clean it up. So the body is no different. We have to go in and clean it. And um, so that's what we do whenever I do a show in the public setting. And then in the home, I uh, offer consultations where um, we have a little brochure, which I will hand these out as well when I'm at an event. And um, I do, if you want to come in and do a consultation, and it takes approximately a half an hour to an hour, and we go through uh, nutrition, uh, your diet, things of that sort. I do the iridology. I muscle test you, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. All you have to understand is everything has an energy rate, and you're going to tell me what you need. Say, for example, if you're very, very stressed, which herb do we use? Do we use chamomile? Do we use passion flower? Do we use valerian root? Do we use stress J, which is a combination of passion flower and chamomile? So your body is going to tell me what you need. Uh, there is not a set program for each person. We are all unique creatures of God, and we have to listen to what your body is telling us. So we muscle test, and your body's going to tell me which nervine could be better for you or which cleanse would be better for you, things of that sort. You see what I'm saying? So we fine-tune the program for you rather than saying, hey, here's the recipe and this is what you do. Okay, so and then also if you really want to uh, get into depth, like I have a lady coming on Saturday, we do the saliva and urine testing. And that's going to go in and tells us exactly what is going on. And you're going to have approximately Oh, a 10 to 15 page printout. And this is going to go in and tell us if you have any bacteria, if you have any heavy metals, if you have a virus, it'll tell us exactly how the mitochondria is working. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of your cell, okay? And then it's also going to tell us how the thyroid is working, how the lymph system is working, and it's also going to tell us about the circulation, your liver, and um, the pancreas, and also it's going to go in and tell us on about your hydration, if we're drinking enough water. And we tend to, you know, especially as we get older, we don't drink enough water because a lot of the clients will come in, and like I just got a call this week from a gentleman. He said, Janet, I'm really having difficulty with my bowels. I am not able to really go to the bathroom, but once every three to four days. Well, the first question I ask him is, are we drinking enough water? Well, not really. So we try to get to the root cause. You know, I said, let's try to increase your water. The water intake should be quality water, not the chemical cocktail that comes out of the faucet. So we want to drink good quality water. There's different options. You can get a filter for your, uh, your faucet, or uh, you can also go go get reverse osmosis, like at a machine out of like, uh, I think at uh, uh, some of the health food stores, they offer that options where you can get your water there. Okay, like at Race and Rack, they have a machine there that you can get good quality water. Or I know there's uh, reverse osmosis machines, like at certain grocery stores, they carry those as well. So there are options to get good quality water without, in, without investing a lot of money for a filter. And I understand, especially during these uh, times right now with inflation. So um, what we have tried to do is get to the root cause. So also, whenever you come in for a consultation, I give you a printout on the supplements that you are taking. So when you go to your primary care doctor, we all need our doctor. 
you can take this along and say this is what I'm taking. If they aren't familiar with what uh, like Stress J is, it will have it all written out for him and you can share that with him as well. The first thing I always tell my clients, if you are on medication, you do not take your medications with your supplements, always an hour apart. Say for example, if you're on blood pressure meds, a lot of times your blood pressure medication may have a diuretic in it. So why would you take them together? So we always take them an hour apart. So that's the first thing that you need to remember. So just remember, our mission is to communicate our respect for people by presenting a solid foundation of natural health and wellness. And what we're trying to do is improve your quality of life and remember the world is a better place when we make a better you. Okay, so <clears throat> here we are in January. The holidays are over and we're kind of like settling down for the winter health. So what I would like to do is I would like to sell, share some tips for you for winter health. So even in normal times, it can be difficult to stay healthy, but especially during the winter season. This year, we have many added challenges. I mean, there's a lot of um, continuing COVID and there's a stronger amount of flu as well. And there's also concerns over the RSV in children, which is a respiratory virus. And we'll talk about that as well because there's things you can use to go in and help your children with that as well. And so what we have to do is more important than ever to make sure you're taking good care of yourself, okay? We want our bodies and immune systems to stay strong to protect and defend us. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some winter tips that you may want to consider. So you just have to understand when it's colder and damp, it is very much of a challenge and it's a little harder on the body. So, and then we have shorter days and we have less sunshine and to give us the energy. And I know I always feel better when the sun is shining as well. And of course we get our vitamin D from the sun. So no matter what, we all need to take our vitamin D3. So we've got it right here. This is the D3 that I take. We do have it in the liquid as well. For some of the ladies that uh, their bone density isn't where it should be, you may want to consider doing a vitamin D liquid with K2 as well. Maybe the absorption could be a bit better. We would have to muscle test you for that. But this is the one I take. It's K uh, vitamin D3, and it's got 2,000 units in each tablet. So I take three a day, so I'm taking 6,000. Now, being here we are going into a new year, and it's January. I'm sure many of you are probably going to go to the doctor, maybe do your annual checkup at the first of the year or within the next three months, whatever. But whenever you do, <clears throat> if they're doing blood work, have them check, <clears throat> excuse me, your vitamin D3. And we would like that, of course, if it's below 30, you're in the basement. So I personally would rather see it up to like above 60 at least. I'm at like 66 to 70. But if you are up between 80 and 90 and you get COVID because COVID's really hitting the area right now again, you will survive that much, much better than going into the hospital and struggling as well. So, you know, it's all very important to take a good quality vitamin D. I am very particular on what I carry because of the quality control I personally like Nature Sunshine. They've been in business over 50 years. I have been to their facility and they have a warehouse in Columbus. So when I place an order, it's shipped out of Columbus, which makes it nice and it's delivered by UPS. And like probably I placed an order on Monday, I got it uh, Wednesday. So you can't beat that. So, but the quality control is so, so important. You have to become a label reader because when clients come in for an appointment, I have them bring their supplements along as well. I will read the labels, we will muscle test them and decide if we need to take that or not. But we all need D3, especially in the cold, dark days of winter. 
So that is one thing that we really need to consider taking as well. And so we need to keep that immune system strong. And I also like vitamin C. <clears throat> there are different types of vitamin C. There's the hard pressed vitamin C. There's the chewable vitamin C. This is the one I, pre I prefer. It's Vitality C and it's in a powder form. What I do, this doesn't mean you have to do it, but I'm just telling you some of the uh, things that I do that I like is I take a little packet of this energy packet and it comes in a box like this. And there's 30 packets in here. And what is in that is a lot of B complex. Your B complex are water soluble. And when you're under a lot of stress, you burn the Bs as well. Water soluble means it'll stay in your body for a short period of time and then it's going to be excreted by the urine through, out of your system. And then it also has ginseng in this as well. And I like this because it isn't like a strong jittery can uh, caffeine drink. It's not like Red Bull and all that. This is a natural, natural good drink to drink. And I usually mix that up and drink it once a day. Or if you want to just take it in the afternoon, you can do that as well. It has your B12, your B6, uh, B2, B1. And then it also has um, some natural sweeteners. And of course, it has green tea leaf in it as well. And it has grapeseed. So, um, and then it has a little bit of um, stevia as well. Okay, so there's 30 packs. I decided I would share that with you. That's one of my little key secrets that I use for a drink. And I usually drink it maybe in the afternoon or, you know, just for a little pick-me-up to get you like going. So, uh, and I like to mix one scoop of this, which is like 2,500 milligrams of vitamin C with this packet. And you just mix them right together. So that works out nicely for myself. And it's not saying that you have to do that but I'm saying it's an option as well because we don't want the Red Bull and all this caffeine and all that bad stuff. So I like the fact that there's the bees in it. It's supporting that and especially we are living in a very stressful world today as well. So the bees go in and help with that as well, okay? Now for our children, what we have here are some chewable vitamins for our children because we don't want them to get the VSV which is a respiratory virus. So, and if they do come down with it, of course, I would do this. And then if we have any problems in the lung area, I like personally to use lobelia. And what you can do is the lobelia can go in and you can rub it externally. It comes in a liquid and you can rub it externally on the chest area and it's going to help with the uh, bronchial spasms, especially if they have asthma, things of, things of that sort. And then um, what you can do is you can mix it with a little bit of honey and have the kids take it as well. Or maybe put it in some applesauce and uh, then have them take them chewable vitamins as well. I'm just saying there are options for our children and uh, we've got to make it creative for them as well. So what we have to do is try to keep that immune system really, really, really strong. And also if we're having a cough, what I have been using for a lot of the uh, adults actually that have a cough is chestnut leaf. And that comes in a liquid form and uh, it's in a little bottle like this. <clears throat> And um, you just take like maybe 40, 50 drops and you do that like three or four times a day and your cough should be gone in like two to three days. And uh, also if you are coming down with a cold or feel like you are, I of course always go to like olive leaf or IVH. IVH is another combination that has yarrow. Yarrow is a good form of vitamin C. It also has olive leaf in this as well, and it has murph in it as well. So, you know, again, we muscle test you to see which one is best for you. And another thing that you can do too, you know, if you're not seeing me, you have this at home, have someone muscle test you. Just remember you hold it up to your chest, have somebody say resist. If your arm goes down, you don't need it, it's pushing it away. If it stays up, you need it. 
listen to your body. It'll tell you what you need. And um, if you have no one around, you can hold this bottle up to your chest. And if you lean forward, you need it. If you lean back, you don't. So we've got to listen and we can take care of what we need to do and keep that immune system strong. So we've got to reduce our stress as well, you know, and we can, we're going to talk about our tips to keeping our body healthy starting out in a new year. And there's different ways we can reduce our stress other than taking a um, supplement like a Nervine, which is a plant like chamomile, maybe some valerian, maybe some passion flower. You know, I don't feel as though straight bees are enough usually, are strong enough to help you with your stress level. I think we have to go into a Nervine, which I feel as though there's very few side effects from all of those as well. So we just have to be responsible for taking care of our health during the winter months, especially since we know it's an inside job during the winter time. And so we have to, you know, nourish and feed our body as well. So we need to do a lot of indoor exercises, more sleep, and control our stress as well. So um, that's what we've talked about that. Let's see what else we have here in our outline. So we talked about the stress, and if you're not able to get enough sleep, you may want to consider taking magnesium complex. And I personally take that myself, and uh, there's 100 milligrams in each capsule. You can take that apart and you can put that powder under your tongue and then drink some water after that because it'll get right into your system as well. So I prefer that in a capsule so you can pull it apart and get that right into your mouth as well. So, you know, that's my go-to and you can always add a Nervine with that if you choose to. But usually one capsule is not going to do it. It's usually two to four. But just remember, if you've taken too much for your body, it's going to relax the colon as well, and you could end up with diarrhea, and we don't want that. So listen to your body again, okay? So uh, we've got to do that. And then what we have to do is we have to feed our body with our nutrients. This is a good time for to make our soup. So like I just made vegetable soup two days ago. So what you do is I go to... Uh, uh, I go to the meat market and I get oxtail. I go to Strasburg Meat or I will go to the Elm Run Farm. But like that's in Orville and I'm in Canton. So I always get my oxtail over at Strasburg Meat. And it's really less than $12. It makes the best bone broth. And what you do is this, I'm giving you my recipe so hopefully you have paper and pencil to keep notes. If not, go get your paper and pencil. So what we do is I add six cups of quality water. And then if you can, your tomato juice, I add a quart of tomato juice as well. Then I add a couple bay leaves and I add an onion. And then I believe I add a couple of teaspoons of salt. And I let that brew and simmer for probably two to three hours. And then if it's really cold outside, I set it outside, of course, with the lid on it. So it can like harden up the fat and you can take that off of the top as you bring it in a couple hours later. So, and of course you take the oxtail out of it after it's cooked for two to three hours. Okay, so after that, after it's set outside and everything's cooled off and everything, all of the fat is like hardened and you're able to get it off, then what I always do is I pick up mixed uh, vegetables at the health food store at Race and Rack and I always have one of those in the freezer. Then I cut up organic carrots, organic potatoes, and then I have saved the non-GMO um, corn and put those in little bags in my freezer and I go get that and plop that in with my green beans as well and of course we can't forget our cabbage. It is the best vegetable soup and then I always add a quart of my whole tomatoes. So if you don't can then go to the health food store, Earth Fair, Fresh Thyme, you know, mustard seed, raisin rack, whatever and get 
some good tomato juice. I can't guide you in that because I don't know. I make can my own, but make sure it's organic. And then also get the whole tomatoes as well. So you can still do this, but try to do it. And the nice thing is you will have that for probably three or four days, or you could even freeze some if you need it as well. Or you could can that, get it very hot, put it in the canning jar, and listen to it seal. And you'll be having that for a cold winter day when it's snowing outside. So those are just some suggestions because we have to feed our body very well. And then you can make your chili too, because I know... Um, I was out and about and a lady said, well, I just don't know how to make chili. That's very simple again. You get some good quality Hamburg that is not, no hormones, no antibiotics in it. And you brown that and your onion. And then you add again, your a quart of whole tomatoes and a quart of the juice, and then a container of kidney beans. That's all you do. And you might want to add a little bit of, uh, sugar to taste it, you know, taste it up a little bit. It's up to you, whatever. I use the organic non-GMO cane sugar on a lot of my cooking items, or I will use honey, one of the two. That's what I prefer. So anyway, I'm just giving you some suggestions because it's cold. We want something warm. And I think soup is a great comfort food during these cold winter months, okay? So anyway, our main subject today is going to be on the five keys to staying strong. So I know last year we talked about keeping our body in balance and there were three. Well, guess what? I've added a couple. So the first one, of course, is nu uh, nutrition. It's diet. Our disease today is coming from standard American diet and toxins. This was emphasized to, to, so much to me when I was studying for my doctor, naturopath. And so I'm really into diet. Are we eating to eat? Or are we eating to live? Think about that. We're going to go into that. So nutrition is number one, nutrition and diet. Number two is E for exercise. You have to move or you're going to lose. I know it's winter time. But hey, I have been walking. Little Minnie is my therapy dog, my miniature Dotson. She loves to walk. We put her coat on, hat on, off we go. I go at least five days a week to walk. It's my form of meditation. It relaxes me. It grounds me. It keeps me in nature, in touch. So everybody is different. You have to find what works for you. But you have to move. So exercise is number two. Number three is sleep. I always say at the end then there's stress. So we talked about sleep. We would always try the magnesium first rather than going on a medication to, you know, what we're trying to do with magnesium is relax the body. So, and then if we have a lot of stress is number four. You can add a stress nervine with your magnesium if you choose to do that. But let's try one step at a time and see what works for you. And then our number five now is attitude. And attitude is probably number one. Up here, this is so important on how we think. And we have to believe. You see the sign, believe. We have to believe and we can do this. So what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to go in and we're going to talk about starting a new year by keeping the body in balance. So I want to go through and explain some things. Often we really don't think about our health until we lose it. We wait until we get sick or we feel unwell before we take action. Staying healthy means more than just preventive. It means working daily to improve our level of wellness. And that's why I'm going through the five points. Nutrition, diet is key. So we're going to concentrate on that. And what I'm hoping to do, I'm planning to every show I do, you knew I do a recording once a month, I plan to share some suggestions on recipes on what you may do to help give you creativity and good nutritional nutrients in your body. And I'm going to try to keep it simple. 
so you have the time because I know many of us are working. We have a family. We have laundry. We clean the house. You know, there's always something to do. Even if you're retired, you feed the birds, you got to take care of this, you've got to do that, you got to go run errands, you know, maybe you have a doctor's appointment, whatever. It all takes time. And so we have so much time, so we want to organize it and be on, on top of it. So that's why I want to give you a simple fix on what we can do because I know I have a couple friends that uh, will go to Costco's and they will get me a good good quality pizza and I will bring that box in for next month because I have two in my freezer right now and um, just to have it there if I'm really rushed I can pop that in the oven and have a quick meal and it's a good quality one as well so things like that I'm going to incorporate with each show that we do and I'll be doing more of the shows myself now that I am through with my exam because it, probably you don't understand but for three years I did a lot of studying a lot of time and so now I have more time to prepare for my show and share the knowledge with you as well so back to uh, getting back on track so how we look and feel is primarily based on how we live the choices we make each day are the heart of this principle this is not just a concept, but a call to action for us to take personal responsibility for our health. So that's when I am here to support you, to get you moving and say, hey, our habits and behavior patterns contribute to almost every health outcome that we experience. May it be for better or may it be for worse. Our lifestyle activities are the first areas to asset and our health review. So let's consider first what we want to make a difference in. Some things our life we will need to change. So let's ask ourselves a question. Have we have paper and your pencil? Number one is, how is your health right at this time? Number two, are you happy with your energy and your vitality? Don't be sitting and looking at that cell phone. I am to the point this is my new thing for the year. That phone, I'm going to turn it off because I hear a click, I will go, okay? So I'm going to check on it probably mm, once in the morning and twice in the afternoon and of course check it in the evening as well because I have people that text me, call, all of this. So we have to be available. But we don't want to be attached to that cell phone. And just remember too, we don't want that cell phone by your bed. Those rays could be going into your body as well, and that's not good. So first of all, so how is your health? Are you happy with your energy and your vitality? Do we feel get up and get going and da 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 da? How is that, okay? Look at yourself honestly and ask, what needs improvement in my life? We've got to be really, really serious because I know I've, I'm doing the same thing. I mean, stress is my big enemy, and I know that. So I have to kind of say, okay, well, this is what our plans is for the day. I write it out at least for a week, and this is what I'm going to do, and that eliminates a lot of stress. Rather than the laundry needs done, the phone's ringing, you know, I will get to it. Let the phone ring. If I am busy with the client, we will get to it after I've completed the conference. So number four is what changes are needed for rebalancing to occur? What do we need to do? Are you willing and able to commit to the necessary changes? You see the sign, believe. Make that sign, say, I can do this. And you put that on the mirror when you get up in the morning and you see it. It's up to you. You are the CEO of your body. And what you put in your mouth is going to help you tremendously. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Let's keep it simple. So the five keys, like we said, to stay healthy is nutrition, which is diet. E for exercise. We've got to move. I know when I retired five years ago, I retired on, I think, a Friday. Hey, Monday, I was at the gym. Ladies Super Center, that's where I go. And the thing is, if you're retired and over 65, you get a, a discount rate. I believe it's under $25 a month. You can't beat that. You know, and then I still go three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If I miss a day, okay, 
at least I try to walk our dog and we get moving as well. It's good for the dog and it's good for me. So you've got, this is what I do. I'm giving you ideas. Maybe you don't want to go to the gym. Maybe the $25 doesn't work in your budget. I understand that. Then you can go walk in the mall indoors if the weather is bothering you. Because like if it's snowy and icy, I won't go for a walk. That's when I will use the treadmill. So I'm just giving you ideas. So we got the exercise, we got the two S's, which is sleep and stress, and then our attitude. We have got to be positive and move forward. A new year, new you, up to you, okay? All right, so when we get sick and need treatment, these are the guidelines that I follow and share with my clients. So remember, your health starts with you. So let's begin by looking within yourself and identify what issues, your challenges you face for improving and choosing improvement in your health. Say, for example, if it's blood pressure, maybe we're a little overweight. Obesity in the United States is not good. We tend to be overweight. And to me, it's due to the bad junk foods, dead foods. They're not live. They're processed. They're manufactured. Not good. As you can see here, we have some samples of the tangerines. And yes, these are organic. And yes, I went to Aldi's and I purchased these. That's, if you haven't been to Aldi's, that's the place to go. That's my number one for my produce. Yes, they have organic. They have my organic butter. They have the organic cane sugar, which is non, excuse me, non-GMO as well. They have the organic coconut oil, avocado oil, all of this. So it is there for you. You have to become a label reader. And even they have lunch meats that are nitrate free. And I'm just saying you've got to become a label reader and that's where you need to go. I know um, <clears throat> my son went with uh, his wife Jane to all this and he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe the difference in their prices. So we have got to be a sharp shopper at this time. So say, for example, if we have some high blood pressure, lose some weight that could bring it down. <clears throat> Change your diet, eat more live foods as well. And maybe your cholesterol is elevated. There are choices there. We can do red yeast rice, which many times red yeast rice is in the prescription drug as well. Just remember, I mean, there's times we need medication. I'm not saying med medical is bad. We all need our doctor. I was raised medical. Yes, I had my vaccines when I was a child. If I were to do it today, no. I chose not to do the flu shot. I chose not to do the COVID vaccine. That's me. Each person can make their own decision. I don't, you know, it's, it's a personal decision. But I feel today what they're putting into the vaccines, I question it. That's just me. So I'm just saying, if you have high cholesterol, you can use niacin, which you want time released, and then you use your, uh, your red yeast rice. And those two would work very well. What I was getting at, when you take medication, they're masking the symptom rather than going to the root cause. So what we're trying to do is exercise is going to help with cholesterol, losing some weight, and of course your diet, 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 okay? And then if we have some blood sugar levels that are, are starting to increase, there are many things you can do before you go to the medications. That's like when clients come in for a consultation, I have them bring their blood work in so we can look at that. If I see your blood sugar, so like glucose is like 99, I say, okay, we may want to consider some chromium. Chromium is the mineral that feeds your pancreas. And I know I have a couple clients that are diabetic already on medication and they take their chromium, of course, not at the same time as their, um, of their um, diabetes medication, but it's lowered their blood sugar as well by taking it with their medication. So many aspects of this health review may be overwhelming, but I want you to look at, as we review these questions, you will find that you have knowledge of and control over many important areas of your life, such as what you eat, how you manage stress, 
and whether you exercise or not. When you exercise, that helps you with stress. It's amazing how much calmer you feel when you move and you exercise. You cannot simply count on your doctors and other health practitioners to point these issues out to you. You know yourself better than anyone else. Listen to your body, it's talking to you. By examining yourself, you can begin to unlock the potential for the best health that you can achieve. Most of us require some reprogramming as well as emotional support to make changes in our daily habits. So tell your husband, hey, why don't we start walking? <clears throat> you know, sit down and discuss this. Or maybe with the children when they come home from school. Hey, we can go for a walk if the weather is decent. Bundle up, hats, gloves, go sled riding if the weather permits. Do what you need to do. Figuring out how to incorporate these transactions smoothly into your life is very critical to improving your health and lowering medical costs and preventing disease. So just remember, we can do all of the right things and still get sick. So we should not feel like failures when we become ill, but accept illness as a learning process. Health and medical issues can be frustrating. It can be very challenging to figure out what causes and what the treatments are. Yet for the most part, when we take good care of ourselves, we attain and maintain better health and you have much more energy and are less susceptible to disease. So, uh, and let's talk about nutrition. Let's really focus now. We have more potential and control over what we eat than any other areas in our life. You can control this. So this is a good place for us to begin. It's new year, new beginnings, and you can do it. And we are going to try to change our diet. And even though it can be a challenge, our food choices influence our health directly in positive and in negative ways. We are challenged and tempted early in our lives with the tasty, sweetened, quick snacks available and what's advertised to us. Oh, we need to try this. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So one thing I wanted to share with you is the Dirty Dozen. And this just came off a of Weston Price Foundation. I meant to bring the book along and I forgot to pack it up. So I'll bring it next time and show it to you. Western Price Foundation is out of Washington, D.C. And the purpose of it, uh, it was founded by Dr. Price himself, and it's on clean foods. And they do, uh, they provide a book, uh, I believe it's um, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And I just received the winter one. And whenever it comes in the mail, it's like, who gets it first? either myself or my husband, because we both sit and read it from front to back. And I keep them all, they're fantastic. The membership I believe is like $45 a year. And I get notifications by email, of course, on what's going on. And I know they're trying to take some homeopathics off the market at this time. So that's one of the issues that they're working on in the holistic field as well. So anyway, let's go back to the Dirty Dozen. The Environmental Working Group has issued its new list of fruits and vegetables containing the highest level of pesticides. You know, you've heard me talk about this, so write this down, paper and pencil. Strawberries on top of the list. They use by so many chemicals and pesticides on strawberries, unbelievable. Always have to be organic, okay? And it's followed by number two is spinach. Number three is kale. And kale, and spinach, a lot of time we're in these smoothies, so you gotta make sure they're organic whenever you get a smoothie. You know, you gotta be careful where you go. And then nectarine is, uh, nectarines are next. Apples, grapes, peppers, cherries, peaches, and celery. Like I do my celery juice, I didn't do it today because you know, I had the recording and I prefer to be home when I do it because sometimes it can loosen up your colon as well and we don't need that during the show. So I'm just saying I do celery juice at least probably four to five times a week and I always do organic. And I always get my celery at Raisin Rack. Uh, it can be as low as $1.79 and I think it's like two sixty nine right now. It's up and down, depends on you know what are the time of year I believe. So and then the next one is tomatoes. 
But what is interesting, number 13, so we just went through the dirty dozen, the 12. Number one, strawberries. Number two, nectarines. Apples. Grapes. Peppers. Cherries. Peaches. Pears. And celery and tomatoes. These all have to be organic. Now, what is interesting, guess what's number 13? <clears throat> Potatoes. According to the USDA, 35 different pesticides and herbicides have been found on conventional potatoes. <clears throat> Six are known as or probable carcinogenic, which means they can cause cancer. And also 12 are suspected hormone disruptors. Seven are neurotoxins, which can affect the neurological system. And six are developmental or reproductive toxins. Okay, and so many of these chemicals are systemic, meaning they cannot be washed off. So parents, protect your children, protect your family. Buy organic and don't let them eat processed foods. No dyes. You got to become a label reader. So it's so strange because, you know, my husband and I were discussing this, and I have been buying organic red potatoes probably for the last three to four years because I was at a conference, there were order, order Amish people there, and they were talking how they could see the farmer spraying all the chemicals on these potato fields. And that's right then, I remembered that, and I said, no way, they're gonna be organic. We have raised our own, but if I grow our own again, I will make sure they're organic seed potatoes. So just put that in your memory bank as well. So the Dirty Dozen list, if you need a copy, all you have to do is, you know, at the end of the show, uh, my uh, phone number is on there, and I'm going to have them add my uh, cell phone as well if you want to send me a text as well. That's also possible, okay? So um, anyway, we've got the Dirty Dozen. So the key here is to eat healthy, nourishing foods, especially live vegetables, protein, and fresh produce, and avoid toxins whenever possible. So foods and supplements help us recover and heal when symptoms or illnesses occur. Just remember this will involve habit changes and detoxification and elimination as we start. So another thing too that I do, and I brought this along, actually I did a show um, last weekend. I have two left and I should have ordered more and I didn't. Uh, these are the hyper greens and yes, I did one this morning. You take a teaspoon of this, and I add it into, you know, a kind of water like this. And what I did is I do, I have a shaker, and I shaked it up, and I put some ice in it because I like it cold. makes it taste a little bit better. If I have any organic apple juice, you can add just a little bit of that as well. Don't buy the stuff from the store because it's full of sugar as well. So uh, I didn't have anything, and the cider's getting a little hard, and I don't like that. So I just did mine straight, it doesn't taste bad. It has some powdered coconut milk in it. It has wheatgrass, it has broccoli. It is a great, great powdered drink to have. And um, I try to do it, especially in the winter months, because, you know, it's very hard to get a lot of the greens and especially, you know, because I grow my own lettuce, spring, summer, and fall, uh, and I still am able to pick my lettuce. Here we are in January. I know we've had some really nice weather in December and I would put it outside, then I would bring it in. And so I'm still able to pick some of my lettuce, but I think my days are getting smaller and smaller. So anyway, this has barley grass in it. It also has, like I said, wheat grass in it. And, um, this goes in and going to boost the immune system. It has organic broccoli powder, organic alfalfa, uh, organic coconut milk powder, which I think is what makes the taste really, really good. And then it has organic beet powder, organic ginger root, organic tomato powder, organic dulse, and organic um, stevia as well in here. And it's just a whole powder, and that will probably last you a month. And why do I like this? Because it's 100% organic, it's all greens, it's going to clean, detoxify the body, strengthen your immune system, and helps with your mental clarity and focus. And what is so interesting is, I remember uh, I sold it 
to a couple young girls, they're not, they're eating junk food. And their energy was down because when I look in the iris and I see that the pupil, the black part of your iris or the eye, when it is big and large, the energy is down. And that's the first thing I asked them and they said, oh yeah. So we talked about their diet and they're starting on this and hopefully incorporating some better food choices as well. So that is an option if you want to consider that, uh, depending on how uh, busy I am, but I try to do it at least five days a week. I just like to add what I have because, you know, with doing the vegetable soup or the chili, it's not live food. So this is the next best thing if we have to do something in a powder form. And then also, I'm not a bread eater, but my husband is. And this is the bread that we get at Aldi's again. And it's a knockoff of Dave's bread. And it's like $4 compared to $6 for Dave's bread. And I like the thin slice and sometimes they don't have it. So I'm just giving you options because budgets are very, very important right now with the cost of everything skyrocketing. So um, this is the, I just brought it in so I'll show it to you because visually if you see it, you will understand. It's got the green label on it and it's thin slice organic non-gmo just remember become a label reader no dyes and because in europe they don't allow dyes remember i've told you before when we went to europe in the 90s i said to my husband i said something's different i said when i have a bowel movement it's different over here it's because they didn't have all the preservatives and the additives and i've heard this from other people when they've traveled over in europe as well actually our health is not the best here in the United States. And I really feel a lot of that is going back to um, our diet. So, <clears throat> so I have, over the last 25 years, I have found that one of the best ways to begin and can turn the, continue the journey to your best health is start with natural cleaning and detoxing program. We've got to go in and keep you clean so we'll be talking about that come springtime. Remember, we do a detox. You can do it, you know, maybe to, to avoid certain foods, or maybe you would like to do a juice fast. Or we have specific herbs and supplements that we can use to clean, and that's usually the route I go, plus clean up your diet. And remember, we need to take an occasional break from caffeine, sugar, and alcohol, as well as dairy and wheat, and see how we feel. Because remember, I had shared with you, we had done the 10-day uh, sugar detox, and I did it with five clients, and we had to keep track of everything. It was amazing. I lost five pounds, and I felt so much lighter and so much better. Sugar is like a drug, so I try to stay away from that as much as I can. So... Um, I'm just saying we'll probably go through another sugar detox and we'll talk about that. And if people want to come on board, I will help guide you with that as well. So I wanted to give you some simple recipes too before we close and we'll continue on our journey next time, next month. So get your paper and pencil out. So what we can do is get some sweet potatoes. <clears throat> I prefer organic, of course. <clears throat> You're going to cube the sweet potato and you're going to brown it in coconut oil. And, and then you're going to, you know, cook it until it's tender but crispy on the outside. Stir it frequently and sea salt on top and enjoy. That's it. That's all you do. So you're going to cut it up in squares. And you're going to use like three tablespoons of coconut oil. And you're going to brown that and stir it. And when it gets crispy, add some salt, you're done. So that's a good little... Uh, vegetable to have on the side <clears throat> and then the other one is the zucchini fries and yes I bought the zucchinis organic at Aldi's and we'll make this quick because we're running out of time so we're going to get a cup of almond flour and you're going to get two organic eggs of course and large zucchini so what you're going to do is cut the zucchini into fried style rectangles and dip the zucchini in egg and then dip it and cover it in your flour mixture with the flour, you're going to have salt and pepper and garlic. And then you're going to put it on parchment paper in the oven at 425 for 20 to 30 minutes until brown and crispy. So those are our two healthy tips for you to try for the month of January. 
and you can send me an email or text and let me know how you like it. And then what we'll do is um, we will include some more new recipes for next month. So just remember, you can do this and it's entirely up to you. It's the attitude. Attitude is the one that is probably the most important and you can do this, okay? So what we have to remember is, I have my closing little thing here, illness is disease or lack of ease with self and life. So it, illness is also something that we have to change. We have to go in and heal. So the energy flows and we begin to heal, which is coming to a new balance. We need to get our body back into balance, do away with the old, bring in the new. And you can be positive and you can do it. Believe. Prayers for a new, healthy you. Thank you. WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.